I'm building my budget laptop gaming setup. Let's check it out. All right, so let's start out with the table since this is the basis of any computer setup. We have the legs. These are electric height adjustable single motor legs from Monoprice. And the tabletop is actually a butcher block that I got from Home Depot. Now you can put any tabletop you want on these legs or you can just get the one from Monoprice, which I believe is only an additional 50 bucks. These legs are around 200 bucks. It's actually not that expensive for an electric sit stand, you know, height adjustable desk. So it works out pretty well. Another important thing when it comes to any setup is power. Now I'm going to be running this surge protector up here and then you definitely have to connect, especially if you have an electric desk like this one, the power to the desk up here. Surge protector up here is really great for ease of access, especially if you're going to be plugging and unplugging certain things. But another idea with something like this for a cleaner setup is to install it to the bottom of the desk. However, for today, we're going to be leaving it up here. So for today, we're going to be using my budget gaming laptop, which is a really awesome laptop. We have a full review on it. Make sure you check the link down in the description below or up in the corner. And uh, this is a gateway with an i5 10300H, four core, eight thread CPU. I've upgraded it to 16 gigs of RAM and it has an RTX 2060. So a, a, a point that I wanna make with laptops in a full setup like this is like, especially right now with COVID hitting, college students out there, people that were abroad and people had to come home and now they're at home. They spent a lot of their money on a gaming laptop so they could game all on the go or when they're out and about. But now you're stuck at home but you want a full setup like you, if you had a, a full desktop, right? Well, this is what we're gonna be using to do that. And uh, I think it's gonna come out pretty nice. So let's keep going. So let me show you what you can add to your setup to build a cool battle station around your laptop. So the first thing you wanna add to any gaming setup is a really good monitor. And today, BenQ sent over this Mobius EX2510 24 inch 1080p gaming monitor so we're going to be checking this out later on in the video but for now let's go ahead and add this to the setup oh, there it is i like that the bezels on the left top and right are very thin and uh, there's that sensor for hdri we'll talk more about that later um, let's mount this thing up nice and easy i like that the stand is nice feels strong I like the height adjustable ability. That's gonna come in handy. All right, there we go. So now with the monitor fully assembled out of the box, I'm just running through real quick what was in the box. And uh, there's this uh, international power cable, I guess, that uh, both international people might find that useful. Standard power cable and an HDMI cable. Also it comes with a cable cover. So when you get everything connected in the back, you just snap this into the back to hide the cables and then the actual build quality of itself strong stand height adjustable it's kind of plasticky and then you have this orange accent that you can't really change the color of but maybe we can remove it if orange isn't really your color other than that everything feels great you know vase amount on the back if you wanted to put it on an arm so that's definitely useful and uh well, there you go. But like I mentioned, which with the HDMI cable, we're gonna be connecting this to the laptop via display port so we can get the maximum refresh rate and performance out of it. It doesn't come with the display port cable, so that is something that you're gonna to have to look into. We'll leave a link in the description down below to one. And, uh, and if your laptop doesn't have a display port connector on it, but it does have mini display port, you'll need an adapter. And we'll be using one of those today. The stand does allow tilt, a good amount of tilt actually and uh, a little bit of swivel. Not too much, but some. But yeah, the uh, that's actually pretty good right there. This is nice, especially for a full setup that the monitor stand includes a sort of cable management passage. So, uh, I mean, definitely a plus there. Back the laptop. As far as any battle station setup goes, RGB keyboard and mouse. Although I guess the mouse isn't RGB, but the keyboard is, so let's get that up here. And a good mouse pad. 
However, so this is a lot of things that connect with USB. We're gonna be using a powered USB hub to also hook it all up and make things easier. Go through the hub and then one cable into the laptop. Super useful. The thing with laptops is you get a pretty limited connectivity on it. You don't get that many USB ports and that sort of stuff. So a USB hub, especially a powered one, so you're not drawing too much power from the port. One like this will really help in being able to connect all your devices. So if if you want to do capture cards, you can do that as well. Keyboard, mice, accessories, headset, whatever you want. Something super important to laptops is airflow. If you're going to be gaming or doing anything intensive on your laptop, you need to make sure it has good airflow because components in it get really hot. With that, I have this nice portable laptop stand that helps it breathe a little bit. And so let's just throw that on there real quick. Now when it comes to any gaming setup, always pays to have a good microphone setup. So we have this Toner TC777. We have a review on it, also link down in the description below or right above in the button. And we're gonna be mounting it on this arm. So let's go ahead and mount it up and position it. So the core setup is complete. We have the laptop connected with the mini display port to display port adapter to the monitor, the BenQ. We have the USB hub connected. It has the mouse, keyboard, and the microphone all to it, and then one cable to the laptop, and all those will work. We have the surge protector out back here, and yeah, the cables might look a certain way with it, but if you take your time, you could mount this under and sort of cable manage it a little bit better. This is more sort of a realistic approach as to how like a basic sort of laptop to desktop setup might look. So you could always make it a little bit better. And yeah, so what, what we're gonna be doing today to make it a little bit better, we're gonna spice it up with a little bit more RGB. So let's get to it. All right, we've gone ahead and spiced up the setup with some RGB lighting, have an RGB strip lighting up the back of the desk, the back of the monitor. We added a floor RGB light to add some more accent lighting to the room. But right now we're not really in gamer mode with all the lighting. So all of this doesn't look as good as it can be because we have all our lights set up for shooting this video. So let's get to gaming and gamer mode when it comes to the lighting so you guys can see this a lot better. The monitor featured in the setup, as mentioned, is the BenQ Mobius EX2510 1080p 144Hz IPS gaming monitor that supports FreeSync Premium. This is also available in 27 inch. This is a 1ms MPRT response time monitor, which means it'll be awesome for gaming. But you may be asking yourself what the difference between MPRT and the more known gray to gray response time measurements are. Long story short, Fast gray to gray doesn't always mean fast MPRT, and you want a faster MPRT for the best performance as well as a fast gray to gray. A nice feature this monitor has is something BenQ calls HDRI. This monitor does support HDR10 for better and deeper colors, but they have a sensor on the screen that will dynamically adjust brightness, contrast, and saturation based on the lighting conditions of your environment. This is nice because if you like gaming in the dark but sometimes need to turn the light on, the monitor will automatically adjust and you don't have to fool around with any complicated menus to tune it for your lighting situation. I'm here about to start this match in the art complex in Doom Eternal and uh, we're gonna see how the speakers sound on this one. BenQ calls these Trevolo speakers and they're supposedly tuned and really good speakers for a monitor, so let's see how it sounds through the microphone I've been talking to you guys with this whole time. for the faithful. Did you see? All right,
so here I'm playing some PUBG and um, I was testing out the HDRI which is available right here turn it up to the game HDRI and like this it's like man it's a really punchy good looking look it's a little bit dark um, but I bet the way that it works is if I lightened up the room so with the screen and as a result eyes probably not gonna hurt too much so definitely something nice for the sake of the video though going to be putting it to off that way you guys can more clearly see how smooth this monitor is we're getting over 144 fps right now so the cool thing about this monitor being FreeSync and FreeSync premium is you are also able to turn on um, g-sync it's a g-sync compatible monitor so the result of that is extra smoothness whether you're using a geforce graphics card or an, um, an, an NVIDIA one. Sorry, uh, <laughs> an AMD one. The speed and responsiveness of the monitor though is super nice. I mean, look at that. No tearing, great smoothness. This is, I think anybody looking for a high refresh rate gaming monitor would be pretty happy with something like this. And I gotta say the audio is definitely something I didn't expect. Uh, playing Doom a little while ago, the speakers just, everything was very clear. It did have bass as far as I can tell. Um, I was not expecting that kind of sound from monitor speakers, I'll give you that much. What would you do with the laptop setup? Would you do anything differently than what we did here? Um, well, what would you like to see next? What kind of setups are you guys interested in seeing? Drop a comment down below, let us know. Let's talk about it. If you like this video, make sure you click that like button and that subscribe button. We do content like this every week, so you don't want to miss the same upload. Also, I stream to Twitch, so links down in the description below. We have other helpful and interesting PC-related videos. Check out one of these. I think you might like it. I'll see you over there.